children, what they have to do with their children, or any future generations of children. I mean, what is freedom if you're, if you're being told what to do by some superior form of master? You know, it's, that puts you in a slave situation. We are not slaves. We fought for freedom, and we've made sure that people aren't going to be, uh, you know, enslaved in this country and around the world. And so, you know, that's when you take a parent's rights away, you're just basically saying that they're a slave to, this, to the, you know, the system of the government. I believe this vaccine mandate is something that the government shouldn't step into. It's a young vaccine. Vaccine. We're not sure of what it's going to do today, tomorrow, or in the future. I think it may be potentially harmful to our young women. Sterilization, infertility, cancers later on. Although we're preventing one question, and yeah, it's a very effective vaccine for the two strains that it's attacking. It's causing a host of other problems. It's increasing cervical risk, and in my opinion, maybe ultimately increased cancer. I believe it's, a, it's an individual right to privacy issue. You know, our Supreme Court, United States Supreme Court, has found that you have a substantive due process right. It's a, a fundamental right to privacy that's, that's based in our Constitution. And I think the right to say, I don't want my child who's not transmitting this disease at school, and it's a sexually transmitted disease, shouldn't have to have this vaccine. It's a, it's a fundamental liberty interest, which I think the state's infringing upon. Many parents spoke out at the rally, and during the public forum with the Department of Health was no different. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Hi, I'm Shane Steiner. A lot of you have been following my progress using Super Male Vitality. The last 19 weeks has been an incredible experience. I was feeling a little down and lethargic during the holidays, and none of the supplements that I was taking were doing any good. That's when my longtime friend from high school, Alex Jones, introduced me to Super Male Vitality. I was a little skeptical at first. Not only would I have the energy to work out and go to the gym, but it, it was actually the changes were happening to my body. Uh, a lot more rapidly. My whole mood, my libido, everything had completely changed. The concentrated organic herbs, they stimulate your natural systems to produce the natural hormones that you need. I just really wanted to, to bulk up and hit it hard and I went in for about the first five weeks and was lifting heavy weight and just really hitting it hard and I gained 20 pounds of muscle immediately. Since that, I've decided I was going to lose some weight and slim down. I just changed up my workout a little bit and 35 pounds came off. Folks, this is not a joke. This is not a gimmick. It's real. Super Male Vitality. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. 
Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. They're worried about veterans, gun owners, Christians, conservatives. These are groups statistically from the criminology, as you know, the lowest crime rate. That's like saying they're worried about little old ladies blowing stuff up. Can you speak to that in your own words, uh, the New World Order, the whole nine yards, and what you would do as sheriff to try to educate people about that? Well, you know, I really want to focus this on the office of the sheriff. Uh, and I'll use an example, and I kind of pick on the TSA quite a bit. Uh, every day in this country, every day in Houston, uh, TSA breaks the law, in my opinion, whether it's groping and doing searches that are so outside the confines of what the Constitution would allow. But why are we doing it? We're doing it because we've had this, this story sold to us that they're doing it for our safety. Well, to my knowledge, I don't think uh, the TSA has uh, discovered one single terrorist. However, if we were to divert those resources being wasted, in my opinion, at the airports to the border. down to the border, now we just might stop some terrorists from coming into Texas and to the states. But that does not fit the, uh, uh, the storyline that uh, wants to be peddled by those in Washington. Uh, before the break, we were talking about the National Defense Authorization Act. Now, is it, is it too uh, far-fetched to believe that... This racial strife that we see building in this country could be someone's attempt to create enough civil unrest to bring Barack Obama to a point to say he wants to impose martial law, martial law of course, for our own safety and possibly even consider suspending the upcoming elections. That may be far-fetched to a lot of people, but not too many years ago, uh, the... Uh, Obamacare would have been far-fetched to think Americans be, could be forced into buying insurance. So I, I think a lot of these things, we have to open up our minds and understand there is an agenda happening. And we don't need to wait and let this happen and try to respond to it. We need to right now, and I do mean right now, do something about this. Because this experiment known as America, if we don't, is going to fail. There is no limit to what they will do or what they will try to do. And so we must be on guard. We must absolutely stand at the gate and say we're not going to let this happen. Folks, if we lose this, where do you go? Where do we go if we let America slip away? Yeah, these other countries aren't going to let us come in. And we're sure not going to be able to go there and get stuff for free. Yeah, and a lot of these people, a lot of these countries that we give billions and billions of dollars to, they don't like us. So in, in my humble opinion, I think we ought to let them not like us for free.
and we don't even <laughs> give them anything. That's a great idea. Let them not like us for free. <laughs> there are a couple of things in my life that I have never bought into. Uh, I don't play the race card. Uh, I think it is ridiculous. I don't buy into affirmative action to hurt one person in order to benefit another is exactly what uh, the civil rights movement in this country was supposed to have been about. Dr. King would absolutely have to be doing backflips in his tomb to watch some of uh, what has been done uh, supposedly continuing on his life's work. But what we see is an absolute uh, move to lawlessness. Because if we can get this thing to where there is no expectation of decency or law, that allows people to do anything they want. I look back years ago, uh, Alex, I was a young sergeant in Southern California on a police department there in San Diego County when the Rodney King riots happened. And it's interesting that I asked myself then how many of these people out looting and rioting in L.A. were out there because they were truly offended and bothered by what was done to Rodney King or how many were out there simply because it was an opportunity to behave badly. And I think that's what we're seeing in this country. If you want to handle a problem from a law enforcement standpoint, for example, in Baltimore, the day they were uh, going to uh, bury Freddie Gray, the law enforcement community should have been on tactical alert in that city. Had I been sheriff in that county, we would have done that. I'm not going to say it wouldn't have started, but I can guarantee you it wouldn't have lasted long. It's really important that we know our history, folks. We have many, many black folks in this country who are obviously descendants of slaves. And there's a lot of anger that still exists today. Now, with here being in Texas, something very important happened on the 19th of June, 1865. In Galveston, Texas, the news arrived that slaves were free. Now, if I do my math, that's just over, just a couple months past 150 years ago. So what is the beef? What is the problem for any black person today to be mad at a white person today simply based on race to try to blame them for something that happened 150 years ago before they were born? This is the most stupid thinking I've ever seen. Judge people on that person. Do not try to put a blanket. It's the same thought that all cops are bad. That is lunacy. I've been in this business a long time. I know a lot of good officers. I've known a few bad ones. And what we have to do in law enforcement is make sure when we run across a bad one is we get them out of this business immediately. And if that means we get them out via jail or prison, that's okay too. Veterans are the most away, then police after that whether they be federal or local. That's why they want us to have a war with police is because the globalists realize the most awake group is the police and military. I've experienced that. Have you experienced that? That, that, that behind closed doors, the police really, compared to the public, I talk to cops, I mean, they're super awake compared to the public about how stuff works, who's behind things, what's going on. Uh, so we can bash cops all day, but I just discovered they're one of the most awake groups to the New World Order conspiracy. Well, you know, we have to be, Alex. Uh, you know, we live this stuff. I mean, the streets are not exactly a safe place. And so if police officers are not paying attention to their surroundings, uh, that's when we die. And we have to get better at doing what we're doing. We have to get uh, much more in tune with everything happening around us. So, you know, one point I wanted to make, you brought up the military, and, and I'm, sure you, I'm sure you've covered this. If you look at what Barack Obama has done by getting rid of all of these senior military officers, and I believe there is a very, very clear reason why. If you look at the oath taken by an enlisted member of the service versus the oath taken by an officer in the service, the officers take no oath to the commander in chief, it's only to the constitution. So to get rid of these senior officers is very important if you can bring in your own flunkies, I'll call them, that will do what you want. So I think it is very telling to me that some of these very, very senior decorated uh, generals and admirals have been expelled from the service. Well, they're getting rid of combat vets. I noticed they put a lot of Harvard uh, pencil pushers that were never in combat as top people. Yes, and again, you know, you look at this move that they want to promote taking guns away, Second Amendment rights away from veterans. Why do you think that is? You know, I think it's because, well, if you've been to combat, 
uh, it's probably a pretty uh, good chance that your ability to defend yourself with a weapon made you pretty proficient at it. So don't fall for this thing about that guns are bad and guns kill people. Bad people kill people. And, you know, I can lay my weapon on this desk. It'll sit here for into the next millennium and not going to harm a soul. It's going to take an evil heart to do it. So this push to get guns, they can't get the guns. You know, you've seen a DHS buying more ammunition than the military has. What could that possibly